Hi guys, so this is Arash Kumar and this video we learn how to uh, get a free Firebase hosting. So first you need to head to console.firebase.google.com and then if you haven't logged in then please log in. Then, please, uh, then we'll uh, add a project. Then here we will write your project name. So I am just writing a demo. Uh, yes and now see this unique identifier is very important uh, this is the main uh, url like see if i have uh, here it is firebase hosting demo 9984e so uh, the url will start like fir dash hosting demo dash 9984e dot web dot app so you just write your name write anything now we can just see I have write uh, wrote anything next we continue then in a, we will go to this now next we'll select the account account for five ways then create project now it will create a project Till then we wait. See it may take some time cause it's like initializing the project and it is almost done. Yes, now it is done and you will click continue. Now here the project came. Next we go to hosting. Then we click on get started. Now you have to follow this uh, rule. You first go uh, to first create, first open your file section. And then here click a uh, make a folder firebase hosting now open it and then here right click and click on open here i am using powershell here you can use any command prompt of your choice then we come here and then we just copy this npm install firebase tools Wait a minute. And here. Now we click enter. So it may uh, give error for me because I have five tools already installed. See it may take some time because it is installing the whole firebase a tools project see it is now uh, speeding up um, it so yes see it is done added reading packages next uh, next we go there then on, we click next then we uh, click on firebase login so firebase login Now see for me I am already logged in but for you it will open a window in browser and it will ask you to log in in it. Next we will uh, do firebase init. Firebase init.
and now this is the main process it will ask you to uh, select a project so first you can go through your arrow keys and select hosting now here you press space and then enter then you will click on use an existing project and then yes now it will choose all of your projects so the project we use this pybase hosting demo now we click on enter now uh, you just write public here or whatever you need i prefer public next uh, configure single page we write all your urs no click no this is this does not looks good but if you want you can do it and this is should be no yes now it will create some, some directory now here you see public is ready index.html is ready so your whole this is ready this debug log log so i think it is taking some time oh yeah it may take a time maybe you can just stop the process oh yeah now it is done now it is fully done all your things are ready now you need to go to public and add all your assets uh, edit this index.html so now to deploy your uh, base first if you want to test you need to click on firebase serve now this will uh, ho uh, this will just like a uh, uh, host your uh, uh, website on your lo on local host so uh, i think it is a problem with partial it takes some time now um, wait a minute i don't know why it takes so much time but yeah see now it's starting serving from c firebase hosting you know now you have to open local host 5000 local host 5000 yes see uh, this was this was the thing that was in uh th the index.html now if you write anything like see now it this is the 404.html if the page not found then it will open the 404.html you can edit this also now to deploy uh, now uh, i am just stopping this process now to deploy you need to run fabis deploy i am not doing cause i don't need to deploy this website but if you need to see the process then i will just show you with my uh, with my project you just need to powershell here i will i'm just opening my websites thing my websites folder and here firebase deploy now it may take some time yes deploying hosting beginning deploy hosting found 11 packages release a new version and here it is ready now i can open my website see now i have added a code that it automatically redirects to home instead of index yes now for you like uh, for you like dot html like a uh, generally dot html tag comes in your website so you can even remove that 
see now i have home but i have home but there is no html tag then how it runs it actually uses dot sta access file you can see the code of it rewrite engine on rewrite con percent request file name and then you can just see it and the next thing you need to do is uh, all uh, rename all the things index dot html and 404 dot html should not be done cause then it will uh, it will do unknown like the file will become so what i did was i added a redirect so whenever they open index dot html it all automatically redirects to home and 404 dot html redirects to 404 so that was it in the today's video i will see you next time bye